The COVID virus continues to crowd hospitals. The Oregon Health Authority reports 752 people are hospitalized. And that's a new record, one of several hit just in recent days. Our Pat Doris tells us one of the hardest hit areas is Grants Paths in Southern Oregon. From the outside, Asante's Three Rivers Medical Center in Grants Pass looks calm, but on the inside, each day is a battle to find room for all the patients arriving for help. Wynn Howard is the CEO. Uh, I would describe this as a healthcare crisis at this point. You know, I've been in healthcare leadership roles for over 25 years, and I've never experienced anything like this. The hospital is licensed for 125 beds, but got emergency authorization to increase that to 161. It's still not enough. As we talked, the CEO said there were 44 people in the hospital's emergency room. 14 of those patients were waiting for beds. Um, and so we're trying to figure out where we place those patients. Not everyone in the hospital has COVID, but the surge of COVID patients on top of everything else is overwhelming. Howard said July 22nd, Josephine and Jackson County had 32 people in various hospitals with COVID. By August 16th, that number had swelled to 165. Some doctors and nurses are working 70-hour weeks, and some, like Surgeon Scott Nelson, are sharing their frustration and worry. We are going to see our death rate exponentially increase over the next several weeks and months in our community if we don't get people vaccinated. Josephine and Jackson counties have some of the lowest vaccination rates in Oregon. If we do not do this, I guarantee you, you will see refrigerated trucks at the back of the ER taking the bodies out because that is where we're going to be in the next week or two. It's a frightening thought, but the projections from Oregon Health and Sciences University shows this fifth wave of COVID is just getting going and may not hit its peak for three more weeks. Out live now, the CEO of Asante said they have three hospitals down in Southern Oregon, but there's no place to move his patients because all the hospitals are basically full. Also, I was looking at the numbers today from the state report. Over the last three days, Jackson County reported 542 new cases, and Josephine County reported 363 new COVID cases. Multnomah County, with a much larger population and a much higher vaccination rate, reported 504 new cases. Back to you. All right, Pat, thank you.